Hello and welcome back to the Q&A. So first of all, if you want to get your question on the Q&A, it's actually really easy. Basically just leave a comment um, in the comment section. If you can include the word question in it, it just helps because I can find it easier. So um, yeah, let's get on to the question. It is what keeps you interested in World of Warcraft? Now this is actually a little bit of a short one probably because... Well, as I'm sure you noticed from today's Woe Daily, I'm kind of tired and groggy and I'd rather just sleep. Um, but I still want to get content out there and this is a nice little way to do it. So, what keeps me interested in World of Warcraft? Well, first of all, raiding. I'm in a raiding team. We raid regularly. It's fun. I enjoy everyone's company. And we're, in general, quite successful. And it just, it, there's a nice feeling of, oh, really just watch my video and why I think raiding's fun. But to summarize... It's just the fact that you're progressing, you're overcoming a challenge, you're getting new gear, and the way power deltas work now in the game, the gear really does feel meaningful to your character. So I think it, yeah, there's just something about raiding that's compelling, and I like the scale of it. So, yeah, it's it's fun. Another thing I enjoy is random leveling, and this is really something that's more came in in the last week or two, where I just kind of enjoy randomly leveling a character. And I don't mean leveling as in you know, just sort of sitting down all day leveling, but more hopping into a character for 15-20 minutes, doing a few quests, logging off again. I just find that to be quite relaxing in the small parts of free time that I do get. And I don't really get a massive amount of free time anymore. Between university and YouTube, I don't get to play games for fun that often, and raiding. So, uh, yeah, it's it's just a nice little thing I, I like doing is random leveling, especially going through the old world. It's funny, in Cataclysm, I think they actually did a much better job of the old world questing than they did the Cataclysm questing. Like, I've done Westfall, and I'm halfway through Red Ridge now, on my, uh, well, you've probably noticed it on my Monk in the background in some of the recent videos. I really, I don't know why, but I really enjoyed Westfall, and I'm really enjoying Red Ridge. I just think they're so much better than hell, they're much better than any of the Pandaria zones, I can say that much. I find them far more compelling. Uh, they, um, you, I, I guess you just feel like an adventurer, even though they're linear in their design. I still feel more like an adventurer because I'm going from zone to zone to zone a little bit more, so it feels varied. I guess, yeah, maybe more so than uh, Miss Pandaria something's varied in terms of just leveling. I don't know, whatever, I enjoy it more. Um, so, yeah, another thing is I enjoy pretty much like a lot of parts of World of Warcraft. Like PvP, I enjoy it the times when I have time to do it, which is, is not now, unfortunately. Um, I enjoy going back to old dungeons and raids and doing things, trying to get the various mounts. Haven't got any of them yet. I did get the Warglaives off Illidan, but of course I got them for my Hunter, not for my Warrior, which was quite, uh, pretty damn annoying. But um, yeah, there's just lots of random bits of woe. They've done a good job of adding a lot of things into it. Um... So, yeah, just all that kind of random crap, it just, it's a lot, a lot enough flavor. And also, just the way I play the game, the game respects my time and it's convenient. I can sit down and do a raid for three hours, and that's great, but in the times when that doesn't suit, I can hop in for half an hour, do something I enjoy, and I know I'll enjoy, and then go out again. I don't do LFR, I don't do Heroic Dungeons, funny enough. But if it's just like randomly leveling a character, or doing the Timeless Isles solo just to relax, and maybe do a world boss or something. The game just seems full of things that are quick to pop in and out and do, and you'll get a kind of nice little instant gratification thing, and it's just sort of good. <laughs> I guess that's that's how World of Warcraft kind of keeps me going hour to hour, but in general, it's just something that I'm very heavily invested in and I very much enjoy. Um, and then another thing is YouTube. There's definitely... When you decide to do YouTube on, specifically on one game, it does change how you play the game a bit, and I am now, like, literally invested in World of Warcraft in that, like, the way I get paid for my rent and shit, it, it directly ties into World of Warcraft, so even if I am not particularly in the mood to play it, I'll still probably hop on and do one or two things just to, um, just to keep everything in order, I guess, which is fine, like, overall, I do still love the game, and I, I probably always will, if I'm honest. I can't see myself going to another MMO. That'd be dirty. Ugh. But um, yeah, no, World of Warcraft, I just, they're the things that enjoy it. I've It's been there for a very long time and it continues to be there and it conti still continues to offer me just a really uh, fun experience. I'm probably not enjoying it as much as I did back in the Wrath of the Lich King days. Well, it's funny, now that I'm older, I could probably enjoy the Wrath of the Lich King days more. Because back then I had school, and school is shit, as I'm sure everyone who's been through, it's like, is it high school for Americans? I don't know, whatever. You see the people who say your childhood is the, they're the best days of your life? 
I uh, fuck that bullshit. I'm having a far better time in university than I ever did when I was younger because of freedom and just being able to go out and do shit. It's great. So, yeah, I know. Maybe if only Wrath of the Lich King had it came out now, I'd be ultra happy. But oh well, Pantaria is still. It still suffices. So there's actually another question which ties into this one pretty well, so I'm going to tack it on at the end here. Um, it is, since you have began playing World of Warcraft until now, which of the features of the game did you love or hate the most? <coughs> now this is probably not a 100% complete list, but I think it gives a pretty good idea. So things I love. Uh, looking for dungeon. Funny enough, I know a lot of people ha like hailed this as being the worst thing ever, but you know what? Going back into the days of Wrath before it was there, you could spend 40 minutes trying to get your dungeon group going just for it to fail in the second boss because one guy's an idiot. That was crap. The LFD system just allowed you to get in and do content and just get it done with and enjoy it. You didn't have to worry about a group or worry about people or issues like that. So I do think LFD was actually a fantastic um, addition to the game. I know that it did end up sort of causing problems in say Cataclysm, but I'll, I'll get on to that. Still, I think it was a very good addition to the game, and it respects people's time a lot more than the other older system. Although the older system definitely did have its merits for what it did for a server community. Also, um, at the time, uh, the Wrath-style token system. Now, the token system, I thought it was actually really cool. And the way you got these tokens from, from doing all the various stuff, I thought that was great. And what I liked about it was that it always gave you a baseline kind of, you would always get gear from work, even if you weren't the luckiest with drops. You know, things like that. You have the Ashen Verdict um, faction as an example as well. Just things that kind of, you were going to get gear just by like participating in your raid and doing things. It wasn't all down to RNG and luck. I thought that was great. Now the token system and how it's transferred into Valor Points, I don't think is exactly been the best in uh, in uh, Miss of Pandaria because at the start a lot of that stuff was locked behind rep which was awfully stupid then it just ended up being very boring with um, with patch 5.2 so yeah I don't, I'm not really too sure about how it's changed but at least back in, in those times I thought it was a great way to invigorate PvP I, I just thought our PvE I thought it was really fun Another thing is uh, Wintergrasp style world PvP. Now I think Tool Brad, one of the problems with Tool Brad is that it was just shitly designed. I don't think it's anything inherent to the style. Wintergrasp was fun, it was an event. It got, at least for us, it got our server together and our faction together. You'd recognize people. You would always have the same people who were organizing who got in the demolishers and stuff like that. And that's why Alliance did pretty well on our server. So yeah, I miss the Wintergrasp style of world PvP, and I think it's really unfortunate that Mists of Pandaria didn't have one. I very much hope that Rise of the Legion, or the Dark Below, or Heroes of the Storm, or whatever the hell the next expansion is going to be, has some sort of Wintergrasp style, uh, Wintergrasp style world PvP. Also, a thing I really loved at the time was the Isle of Keltanas. Now this is probably not much from a mechanical standpoint, but it was the first kind of big daily island we got, and I loved it. Mainly because I thought, first of all, I thought it was just freaking, freaking beautiful. Like, it looked awesome. The Blood Elves, like, I don't really like them as a faction, but I guess the, uh, whatever faction or sort of brand of Blood Elves you found over there, I thought their armor looked really cool, and I thought they were fun to kill for some reason. So, the Isle of Keldenas was just a really enjoyable solo experience to me, so I, I yeah, I really did like it. Also, the thing I like is the Timeless Isle style of stuff. Not the Isle itself, but at least the style and how I think that will, moving forward, really just add a lot of flavor and sort of spice to the questing experience and the end game PvE experience. Also, Jewel Spec, I think that was a fantastic feature. I'm glad it's there. Triple Spec, something I wouldn't be against either. Just gonna throw that out there. Um, because it just removes some clunkiness away from people. Like, if you're a druid, maybe you want three specs. Who knows, I'm not a druid, but I, I'm, I, I don't really see how, like, making three specs would be bad for the game in any major way. And um, another thing is Wrath Questing, the Wrath style of questing. I think it, like, Burning Crusade, it was still not quite there, but once they hit Wrath, they had enough of the big story, like, heavy hitter quests. They had the perfect amount of gimmick quests or sort of special mechanical quests sprinkled in throughout the content. And it just felt like one really good cohesive experience where you were an adventurer. I think it's got far too linear in Mop and Kata. So, um, yeah, there was something else I was going to say, but I think I've actually forgotten what it is. Hmm. Yeah, I have. Let's go on to the hate section. Now, hate is actually far too strong a word because I don't really think I can 
hate any of these things. I just think maybe mismanaged or not done as well as they could have been. So, um, things that I'm not too keen on. How they implemented LFR. I think that LFR was implemented in a very heavy-handed way. It, I just don't think it gives a fun experience for the people who it's tailored to. The purpose of LFR has always been that it's either for people who just want to see the new raid, see the content and be done with it, or it's for people who cannot do organized raiding or anything like that with the team. So they basically, LFR is the best that they can get, which is fair enough. But I just think that LFR mechanically and through from a few different standpoints just doesn't exactly work. They were talking a while ago about this thing where players would actually be rewarded in terms of loot or gear or whatever or something, probably not gear, just loot, for actually doing the mechanics of a fight. And I think that would be great. I think little things like that to push people in the right direction, because it sucks. There's a lot of people who just want to go in and enjoy LFR, but it's ruined for them by other people. And there's definitely ways where Blizzard can socially engineer the player base away from behavior like that. Now, another thing is uh, I don't like how they removed the ICC-10 level of difficulty for three years without giving a decent substitute. It is only now. It is only within... Actually, hell, it's the 11th of October. It was only within the last calendar month that they finally reintroduced this level of difficulty. Now, Flex is definitely easier than ICC-10, but they're the same void. I just think it's crazy. It was like three years, maybe even four. I, I'm not exactly sure, but it was too damn long. I think we can all agree in that. That was just so stupid. I'm glad that the game finally has that difficulty back in. And from what I've seen, like, Flex is already more, uh, like, more done, I suppose, than normal. And it's getting more and more and more popular. And I just think that's absolutely fantastic. It's brilliant. I'm really happy that system's worked out. It'll bring so much more interest back into the game. Another thing I don't like is how they forced Cataclysm Heroics on Pugs. Cataclysm Heroics were fantastic in a guild group. They were fantastic in that kind of setting. But do they work in a pug where you don't have voice chat? Absolutely not. I don't like how they forced that on people. The solution was to just nerf them into the ground through flat numbers, which meant that they felt clunky and not very well designed, which meant that they weren't fun. And that really was a pity. Now, another thing that I don't like is the Cataclysm and Mop questing. I think it's too linear. Mists of Pandaria isn't as bad, but I think Pandaria had some very, very, very weak zones. I thought, like, example, Jade Forest was good for the first, like, hour, maybe, and then it kind of devolved. Four Winds gave you a little bit more freedom, but the problem with Four Winds is you did have all this freedom, but what were you doing? You're going around helping farmers. What? That's not World of Warcraft. No, it's not. Just compared to things like Wrath Questing, I just prefer it. The only actual zone in uh, Cataclysm that I enjoyed was Hyjal. And it was funny because I thought Hyjal was backed up by a really solid story and it was communicated quite well within the game. I think that the problem is after that, things just got less and less interesting for me. But Hyjal was tolerable because while it was linear, it did have a good enough story. Still, give me Dragonblight or Howling Fjord or Borean Tundra or Grizzly Hills over any of that crap. Any of it. But anyway, that's it for me. I'm probably going to go and collapse in a heap and sleep. And with that, I'll see you next time. <laughs>